Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Ted, hanging out with Nate, and uh, today we got a new type of video for you. We're going to talk about nerd Nerdcraft. So, you and I came up with this term. What, what do you feel it is? I feel that is everything that can kind of come out of or go into the hobby uh, of of nerdy things. So. I personally, I like to look at it as, you know, ner nerd encompasses quite a lot. And craft literally means to make. So I'm looking at this as how do we make and do stuff that's nerdy? Well, I think we've got a good handle on that <laughs> from our past experience. But, so. uh, well, some of the things that I know how to make that I would like to work on is I've got some pewter here. And this is going to be melted down into different objects. Um, Peter has a low melting point, so that's going to be like a little easier thing for people that aren't skilled at metalworking to be able to do without without really hurting themselves. So, so we're we're gonna so. we're gonna literally you know take you on a shopping trip at some point in time, let you go figure out how to you know look at a, a thrift store thrift store or whatnot and pick up some pewter. It's something that you can actually melt it right on your stove in, in your kitchen. Um, hopefully, you got proper ventilation to make sure you're safe. Um, and then what you can do after you've actually you know melt, melted it down um, I know one of the one of the hobbies that I've spent years doing is customized miniatures um, you know I like kit bashing you can use whatever terminology you thought you know you want to but you take pre pre-painted plastic miniatures hack them apart reassemble them use some 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 clay or some sculpey and you know make, make it be what you want give it a new paint job and you can take you know a suit of armor and turn it into a tentacle monster or a dragon and turn it into a hydra you know all kinds of you know, e easy things that I've, I've done and most of my things that I've made are like four hours or less start to finish another thing I'd really like to work on is uh, origami uh, paper folding and paper crafts and got some neat geometric shapes we're going to be making this is one that I uh, showed Ted on how to make and uh, he did a good job for his first one it rolls just like a d6 and uh, he hasn't put numbers on it yet but we'll get there it'll happen I yeah so we'll, we'll do like octahedrons all the different polyhedrons that we can figure out because who doesn't want to roll paper dice I mean yeah, come yeah. on I mean, it's a new type of die. Bam. <laughs> Add it to your collection. Yes. And you can make them as large or as small as you want based on, you know, we'll show you some scaling as well. Uh, and if you've been following our vids for a while, you, you're you're certain to have heard over the over the spectrum of videos I, I make mention or others, you know, have made mention that I do sword work. I've been studying uh, uh, the, the German long sword for somewhere between eight and nine years. Uh, I, I, Way I, longer than I have. <laughs> Um, but I've actually got a couple or a handful of historical texts or reprints that um, have been around for, for a while. Uh, I actually taught out of this book, um, referred to as MS-133 or I-33, depending upon what you want to call it. But I, I taught lessons out of this book for six months uh, with the group that I actually go with. So I haven't been just, just doing it. I've actually led, led the class on it. So it's something I, I feel skilled enough that I, I know what I'm talking about. And when we talk about the sword work, we're going to actually use some, some uh, you know, mixing it up so that if you want to be able to incorporate actual sword terminology and technique into your RP so that your you know, combat can be more, a little bit more descriptive, you know, that, that's what I plan on doing with it as well. So it's a little bit of a crossover. Yeah, one of the big things with Nerdcraft uh, is we want to be able to do things that are cool and crafty, but also lead back to improving your game overall. So uh, with that, if uh, there's anything that you think is a nerdy craft that we might know about and you want to actually see, go ahead and put it in the comments below. While you're doing that, feel free to click like, share, even subscribe. And we'll have some Nerdcraft uh, articles to go along with that on nerdarchy.com. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.